Hey everybody, it's Russ from Kilt and Cork, and thank you for joining me tonight. We are out here in Camino. So before I get started talking about where we are and what we're doing, I really need to give a shout out to our fire crews today. Uh, we almost didn't have a live show tonight because there was a fire just up the road here in Camino, and it just kind of came out of nowhere. So we are blessed to live in this area with our beautiful forests and our beautiful places to see. Um, but unfortunately, sometimes they burn and that's what happened. Uh, we had some road closures, so we weren't even sure we were going to be up here tonight being able to do this show. But because of our amazing fire crews that we have here in El Dorado County and Cal Fire, uh, they put this fire out pretty quick. So uh, cheers to these guys and girls that are out there fighting fires every day. They're so important to us. And, and I know I speak for everybody here that's with us today. Um, thank you very much for saving um, saving all that you did and for your hard work. So that was here in Camino. So I am excited to be at the Sparkling Fin at the Camino Wine Plaza, which is right smack in the middle of Apple Hill. And it's just a beautiful place. And then you're gonna meet my guest, Pam Pendleton. Actually, I'm her guest because we're in her, her place. Uh, and we're gonna be talking about sparkling wines and champagne and, and do some pairings and cocktails and stuff. Um, but before I do, I just kinda wanna give you a little bit of background about sparkling wine, kind of my history, if you will, or maybe just a little bit of info, because Pam's going to focus on her and what she's got. So I, I talked to a lot of people about wine, beer, spirits, all that kind of stuff. And one of the misconceptions is, is that you can just call any sparkling wine champagne. So all champagne is sparkling wine, but not all sparkling wine is champagne. So why is that? Because in order for a sparkling wine to be called champagne, it has to be from the Champagne region in France. It's kind of that simple. Just like in order for a fortified wine to be called port, it should be from Portugal. So there have been uh, rules, laws, regulations, things like that put in place. And in the United States, the government decided that it's okay for uh, any brand that's been established before 2006 to still call their sparkling wine champagne, but any brands after 2006 have to use the word um, sparkling wines. Now, the catch to that too is if they do put champagne on their label, they have to put the region where it's from. It's got to be from California or uh, Oregon, Washington, whatever. Um, but within that spectrum of sparkling wines and champagnes, um, there's some other really great sparkling wines that have names. For example, Cremant is another French sparkling wine that you can't call champagne because it's not from the Champagne region, but it's still made in the traditional champagne way. And they call it Cremant and it's that's French for creamy. I believe Pam can correct me on that if, when she gets here, but uh, it's, it's also a great sparkler. Um, another one of my favorites is Prosecco. And I think that I'm not alone because I saw today when I was doing research for this, that Prosecco is actually the number one sparkling wine uh, or a type of sparkling wine in the United States. So uh, there must be a lot of people out there that like Prosecco. I can think of someone off the top of my head, Ravel Haynes down at Wilderwaters who turned me on to that. If you're just joining me, I wanna welcome you to our show tonight here from Sparkling Finn at Camino Wine Plaza in Camino and uh, tell you that we're gonna be talking about some sparkling wine. And that's kind of what we're talking about right now. There's another Italian varietal that I like that actually I, Pam uh, turned me on to a bottle about a month ago and it's the Moscato de Asti. And it, it's a delicious, sweeter type wine that you can um, pair with fruits or have as an aperitif or maybe even dessert. Uh, and then of course, Cava is a type of sparkler that's from Spain, which is more along the lines of the traditional uh, champagne uh, flavor profiles. But again, it's, it's a little bit different and sometimes they can age the Cava um, longer than a lot of the champagne is aged for in France. So they kind of, the, Span the Spaniards like to kind of talk about that saying, yeah, look at ours. I've been aged for like 20 years and stuff like that. So anyways, Cava is another good one. I shouldn't hit the table. You guys got to remind me about that. It makes a big drum noise. The final one obviously is American sparkling wine and American sparkling wine can be all kinds of uh, grape varietals. The ones I just mentioned before, a lot of them have restrictions on what, what grapes you can use to make those, those sparkling wines. Well, here in America, we can use anything we want. It's kind of like the wild west of uh, sparkling wines. So we get some really cool varietals. We get some flavors like almond and citrus, and it really kind of opens up that whole door to the types of sparkling wines you can have. And so with that, I really would like to introduce my guest who's knowledgeable and who has a great uh, place here that we want to show you and turn you on to. 
Pam Finnelton, who is an artist and owner of this beautiful place you're at. This yeah. is Pam. I'd like Cheers. to share to our firemen too. Cool. Along with the audience. Absolutely. So hopefully everyone can hear us okay. If you can't, um, send a note to my producer, Lauren, who will then help us with that. But uh, I, I'm, I'm sure that uh, audio is a lot better tonight. But Pam, thank you. Um, and thank you for having thank me you. up here. Thank you, I appreciate it. Absolutely. So you've been here for a little while. Why don't you tell us about your shop? Well, um, our winery has been here for 15 years, Pendleton Winery, but I started the Sparkling Fin and the pub next door about three years ago. So I feel like we're still brand new, getting to know the ropes, and um, I'm learning a lot about champagnes and sparklings, and I'm enjoying my, my, my venture into learning about Argentina sparkling. Very cool. I have so many people that come in here and they go, oh, Champagne gives me headaches. I go, that's because you've had wedding champagne. It's not done in the traditional French method. Mm -hmm. It's hand carbonated with lots of sugar and bad grapes. Right. So if you really have a good sparkling champagne, it is made in the French traditional method. We have mostly organic grapes and that's what um, some of these high end sparkling houses are doing. They're using their organic grapes and the American sparkling, we we have the best would be the, made out of Chardonnay with the French yeast. So anyways, we have a sparkling from South Africa. Mm. And you you hit the Cabas, you hit the Proseccos. And uh, we have Argentina. Let's see, I have a sheet list here. And I said South Africa. And I would like um, to promote South, South Africa. They're just doing an amazing job. And now some of these places are bringing in more of the Chardonnay bridles and everything. Now the like Chardonnay, that. is that, that's traditionally a champagne. The, 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 the champagnes are usually champagne. And uh, Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir, and yes, there you go. Yes, and there's a lot of blending going on with that okay. too. But there's other uh, bridles now that they're adding mm -hmm. because there's just so many bridles. And now that all these different countries are getting together and they're doing experiments right. and things like that. Well, I wanted to tell you, you got some people saying hi. Uh, Mike and Beverly House are saying hi to you out there. And uh, I wanna thank everyone for joining us tonight. I'm Russ Reyes from Kilton Court, and this is Pam Finnelton from Sparkling Fin mm -hmm. and Finnelton Winery here. And I also have to give a shout out to um, my number one fan, Stacy, <laughs> who's in the audience off uh, camera right. Uh, she came up to, to be a part of this, and that really means a lot to me, so thank you so much. Um, and everyone out, we have uh, Carol in the back there. Thank you for being here. So, you guys, thank you for joining us. We're talking about champagne and, and sparklers, and what are we drinking here? What is this? This is the Luna. It's um, a Prosecco okay. made by a um, woman winemaker. Her so bottles are amazing. That. And this is made out of organic grapes. I think it won like 86 in the Wine Spectator. Wow. And the reason I'm pouring this uh, Prosecco is because we're going to make a cocktail in a little bit. Oh, and um, Proseccos make the best cocktails okay. if you're going to be adding or if you're going to be making a mimosa. But you can use, um, for mimosas, you can use bitters, orange bitters, okay. or even the oil with just... Um, just organic um, oranges, and that's the best mimosa you'll ever have in your whole life. That sounds sure. really good. Okay, so we're gonna get right into this cocktail here. Okay. I gotta tell you, um, we also have some, you know, you know I'm a big fan, everyone out there knows I'm a big fan of donuts, and we brought some apple donuts from Boa Vista that we're gonna try here with our uh, cocktails as well. Um, I just wanna point out again, I can't say it enough, the best time to come up here and visit Apple Hill is midweek, right? Yeah, it is. It's midweek, and you get the better. Now, Sparkling Fins open Friday and Saturday? Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Open, but um, the wineries open all, all, all week. All week. Okay. But to beat the crowds only in October, um, the weekday's the best the weekday's for the Apple best, Hill. Yeah. But after October 30th, it, the roads open up. It's still beautiful. All the farms are open. People are coming, getting See, Christmas trees. That's when you come up. All that yeah. kind of thing. But so beautiful. For you adults out there who want to get away from the craziness on the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you got to come here. And and this is like a little retreat. And there's a lot of stuff that we can't show you. Maybe we can pan the camera around. I mean, Pam, you've got jewelry. Are they artisan jewelry? Is right. it? Well, um, I have a lot of my artwork. Okay. And I have um, jewelry. I have 
uh, shawl scarves and I have anything a bride might need or we have showers here, parties. You can, you can find pretty much everything. Next door, we have a small restaurant, a pub with all local beers. Yum. And um, it's just a fun place to come and hang out. That's awesome. That's All right, I'm gonna let you come over here and make a cocktail really quick. Okay. Because I would love to taste that. I'll put my, okay, so what so, else do you need? Well, we can oh. use these glasses, but they don't stand up very good. So, so you I'm hold, have to hold this. It? Okay. So I'm just telling you right now, I'm not responsible for what happens to this glass because I'm a huge I just, klutz. I just always wanted to see a man in a kilt hold a glass And I do like have that. my kilt on, you guys can't see it, but Pam <laughs> can verify. Hey, uh, Diane saying hi. Hi to everyone that's out there. Diane. Hi, Diane. Um, thank you I guys for joining us. I wish you were here. Diana's my click in the pub. Hi. <laughs> okay, so this is our apple wine. And so I was asked to make a cocktail. And usually we make a cocktail with mostly apple wine with spritzer. We're going to do it the reverse. So I'm, I'm going to. sure. Are we in focus, everyone out there? I, I, or sideways. I can't see things right now. I want to make sure that we're in focus. Because you guys got to see the bubbles. a little bit. All right. I should have made you have the cobalt blue one if I was color coordinated. Oh, yeah, because of the bottle. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. so I think I'm going to put a little bit more. Okay. okay. Then we're going to put the apple okay, wine. Okay, so it's got Prosecco and apple wine. Yes, and you have tasted that. You had a glass of just the Prosecco right. before, so we're okay. kind of embellishing it. Okay. And so this is the magic part. Okay. Can if you guys see this? If you're sparkling, kind of is going unfizzy. Okay. Do this. Wow, look at that. You guys see that on the camera? That is so cool. All right. Put a little bit more. Yeah, of course, gotta have more. Okay. And a little bit more, and a little bit more what? Okay, now, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Because it's gonna have this with the apple donut. You okay. have a slice of apple. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's awesome. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty <laughs> awesome. All right, I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> Guys, guys out there, if you're if you're worried about drinking sparkling wine, you shouldn't worry about it. No. It's awesome. And I was it's just delicious. I was just telling you, it's the new health drink. It's mm -hmm. low in calories, low in alcohol, and studies say it prevents memory loss and Alzheimer's. Yay! All right, so this is an apple donut from Boa Vista. Are you gonna dip it in? Oh, I can do that. There's no <laughs> rules, is there? Not here. Damn, I not here at the sparkling bin. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> That's really good. I like it. But, you know, last time we did beer, but I, 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 the sparkling wine is delicious. Yeah, I'm going to dip it. What the heck? Can you guys see that? I'm dipping my, I'm dipping my apple donut. Oh, wow, it's in there. All right. Yeah, I got to go in. Well, the members of my club are called Bubbleheads. This, bubble this head. is a bubblehead. I'm a bubblehead. <laughs> but that's really good. I highly recommend dipping your donuts into... Hey, this is like a breakfast though, right? I it mean, is. champagne and, and sparkling wine and yeah. donuts. That's awesome. And after that, you'll remember to eat lunch because it Hopefully. helps your memory. Okay. <laughs> so. Here, would you like me to take that now? No, I can hold this. Okay. I, it's, I feel right, like it's a magic wand or something it though. It's like, but if I do that, I'll hit Stacy and it's going to fly everywhere. <laughs> okay. Um, you got to come back over here. People okay. can't see you. I think you're All like, there right. you're disappearing. There you go. Okay. Um, what else do you have here? What else, what else do we make? Well, I have something that's really magical. This is kind I'm of- I'm gonna share this with you guys in the audience, but you're probably not gonna want to look at, it's, it's still really good. I'll put this down in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this right. Okay. okay. But this is a wild hibiscus flower. So you put the champagne in the glass. Let's move it aside here. I think that okay. microphone might be in the way. There you go. I reach over and I grab this fork. Okay, guys, take note on this because you okay. can surprise your, your wife, girlfriend, fiance, it whatever, is. on the weekend with this kind of stuff. Voila. And There's the flower. Take note. Put it in there. And it, it looks like a good Halloween drink. It blooms. It's kind of it like, definitely is blooming. It is blooming. It's a blooming flower. Something like right, that. so you can put like oh, cran a little bit of cranberry juice or put okay. a little bit so of this syrup. Okay. Okay. I'll taste that and tell me what you think. Okay. So hibiscus, that's Let like it, um. Yeah, this is very romantic when you watch the flower bloom. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. 
<laughs> this isn't an, this, a, this is isn't you. a child show. This is a, an adult show. But I, even me, I can. We're just gonna leave the bloom in the in the glass. <laughs> you know what? Let's just. So Pam loves to paint. She's an artist. She did a painting that I'm fascinated oh, with. Gosh. You'll find out why. But it's on the bottle. It's this it's, bottle. it's this bottle right here. It's a um, beautiful woman in a vineyard naked. Mm -hmm. So how did that happen? I mean, how do you get a woman in a vineyard naked? How do I get those her? ideas? Well, this was done. This it's is great wine, by the way. We grow Pinot Noir. Yeah. This was our. We planted all of these grapes. Can, can I go there? We, <laughs> we planted losing. all these grapes. We are not young, and it, we it takes four or five years to get a really good first harvest. Right. This is our vineyard in the winter. That could be me maybe 40, 50 years ago. No. <laughs> but it's, it talks it about the vulnerability of waiting for that first harvest. You just don't know. It's a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of emotional investment. And to me, it's when I saw our vineyard in the snow like this, it was just, I, I, I love to paint the women in wine related situations. And I always love to tell a story. And so this is just the vulnerability of waiting for that first harvest. Very cool. I love that. Thank so you. again, her artwork is beautiful. It's on the bottles. It's in the tasting room. It's here. Uh, I really encourage you to come out and check out this place because it's really fun. And the cocktails. Now, you do cocktails on the weekends too, right? We do. Uh, yes, we have a, a, tons of mimosas, even ones with gummy bears and That's anything that you would like. There's so many things that you can experiment and of course we can't serve hard um, alcohol but if i yeah. suggest you go online and look up sparkling cocktails because there's some amazing cocktails out there. i love it well we are going to have to wrap up here pretty quick um i did want to we were going to play a game but we've just been talking about all this cool stuff that we kind of got away from it but i do i'll, I'll throw this out there because i took a poll yesterday since we're talking about <laughs> blossoms and <laughs> and women in vineyards so <laughs> What is, oh my God. where, where, according to my, my viewers, where is the better place to, to enjoy a glass of sparkling wine? Is it the bedroom or the bathtub? Oh gosh, there, it, that's a hard one. Bedroom yeah. or the bathtub? Bedroom or the bathtub? Bedroom. You know what? I'm going to say cheers, get your glass, because that was what I would have said. But 89% of our viewers said the bathtub is where they would like to enjoy their sparkling wine. That's because our men aren't accustomed to drinking champagne. we got to get them educated. See, there you go. So, guys, if you're watching, you need to come up here, get a bottle of sparkling wine, take it home, and let it blossom. Because <laughs> that's awesome. Well, Pam, listen, thank you so much for joining me today. I just want to do a really quick shout-out. Um, we've got an event coming up in two weeks. It's the Big Crush down in Amador. And we're going to have tickets to give away like we normally do. Mm -hmm. So next week's, uh, next Thursday's show, uh, I'll tell you about that too really quick. Uh, but we're going to give away a pair of tickets to the Big Crush. And uh, I'm going to post online this time. So if you want to know how to enter, uh, I'm going to post that uh, probably tomorrow on how to enter to get these tickets. And then um, do that because you're going to get tickets to Big Crush. It's going to be awesome. Next week, we're broadcasting live from Reno, uh, not Reno, from Carson City, Nevada, and it's going to be a really interesting show because I'm not going to be the only guy wearing a kilt. So if you want to see a bunch of guys wearing kilts, we're not going to be drinking champagne because these guys probably wouldn't drink champagne with me, especially with a blossom. But <laughs> we are going to be drinking whiskey, lots of it, and we're going to be talking about whiskey, bourbon, and cigars. So my buddies are going to join me live from Carson City because it's our rogue weekend, and we'll tell you a little bit about that too. Uh, and then you won't hear from me for a couple of days probably because – we do a lot of drinking and a lot of golf and fun stuff like that. So that's next week. Tune in Thursday at 530 next week. And I think that's really about it, you guys. I thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight from Sparkling Finn here in the Camino Wine Plaza. Please come up and see this place and enjoy it. Yeah, it is. It's one, one stop. stop. There's a pub. Uh, the guys can have beer if they don't want to try the champagne. But you got you to gotta try the champagne. And then in the wineries, there's three wineries in this plaza that you can taste wine at. It's a great place, and it's right here in the middle of Apple Hill in Camino. So you got to come up. Thank you very much for joining me, Pam. Thank you for having me. Thank Cheers you. for uh, Cheers. being here. Thank you to the Thank audience. You. 
and we'll see you next Thursday. Oh, one more shout out to the fire. You guys did a great job today. Thank you for allowing us to do this. So cheers. We'll see you next week at 530. Oh, be sure to like us on Facebook. That's the only way we get people to, uh, to follow us is like us and share and also follow us on Instagram. That's all I have to say. I'm going to drink some more. Thank you guys. <laughs> Bye. Cheers. Cheers. That was awesome. Yeah.